Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. If you're sure you're not the mad. Uh, let's see what we will do now. Cave fungus. I didn't want cave fungus actually. I have still looted shit that's not nearly as good value for the weight, but uh, I don't know. It just doesn't seem that wise. Well, I'm gonna let the army do the job. They seem to actually know what they're doing. Which seems to largely consist of killing my enemies before I... ...really... ...take the time to even acknowledge them. Oh yeah, make it. Get in my belly. Well, first aid kit anyway. Oh yeah, metal box. Get in my... My loot bag? Thank you. Ammunition box, get in my belly. Probably not the wisest place to put your ammunition, but you know. Whatever keeps you rolling. Is that... Huh. How do I get up there? Right. I need to repair some stuff. That'll do, for example, and then... Wait, no, no, no. Get the 12, 12 mm pistol prepared. Despite the fact that I don't have a lot of ammo for it, I do know it is a valuable item in the long run, I guess. Not much I can do with the shish kebabs right now. Uh, you repair yourself. And you repair yourself. There we go. I'm not sure if at that point the repair advantages I get are worth it or not. But you know, it's better than not being able to walk. That's for certain. Now, I'm gonna go down here. And then I'm going to wait up on my entire party because I think uh, there is something coming up there which is pretty much like, yeah, hey, if you don't wait for your party members, you're not going to see them ever again. And I think that is a good idea. Wait, let us wait. Yeah. Because I walked through here before, because I attempted to record this before, and uh, it just gave me a message of Joshua Graham left the party. And I think that may have been because I was too far ahead. See? That noise happened. This is taking too long. We can't let salt upon wounds escape going to find a way around. God willing, we will finish this together. He still left. Well. Oh. Hmm. What the meaning? I was hoping on him being able to help me through this entire mess. Okay, hollow drug truck, give me your money. And then we go here. As soon as we uh, understand how opening doors works in this game. Anyway. Did you set my dog on fire? That's not nice. He doesn't seem to get there. He's too badass for your setting him on fire things, also. That took a while. No? Yeah, it did. Okay, we can repair my shish kebab with that. I don't know. 
Eating has already located the next group of enemies. Which is cool, I guess. You know, as long as we don't get stuck doing things that we don't want to do. It is completely welcome to find the next group of enemies. And, you know, if he has the time, or if she has the time, I just won't ever reliably call her by one gender. Yet I insist on calling her by one. Instead of just going like, yeah. It's okay, B. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you it. I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna call her her. And then I'm gonna call him him at times. Because, you know. I'm sure it doesn't confuse her at all. Yeah. At all. Alright. Also, apparently the game I... The armor set I was looking for... Is actually in a game I've been in, but... Um, I left the cave because it was full of explosives. But now I know I am actually allowed to go there. Well, I was technically allowed to go there anyway, but you know, now I know I actually have a reason to go there. Because there's a set of armor in there which is pretty great. Yay. Alright, fridge, but, oh, you're not the fridge. What a liar. Or it may have just been me who misunderstood the situation. This doesn't make sense. Unless it is actually meant as a table. Which it might be, yeah, never mind. Okay, check the log. Captain's log, prickly beer fruit. That's a very weird log. I don't think I ever need to use that one again. You took drugs, killed the bear already. Don't think that will be a relevant quest point anytime soon again. Oven, give me your pilot light. I'm not gonna use it there, never mind. Carry on. This is a rock. It is quite likely blocking my passage. But let's be fair, there is completely the chance that, yeah, we just got on the other side of the barricade. That's all we managed there. Well, barrier. Well, collapsed rocks. Long story short, we can continue on our merry way down this valley now. And with any luck, we will get to make people dead. Or completely humiliated and something. Who are they? They are apparently non aggressive. Isn't that wonderful? Ooh, yeah, you get in my belly. Though I am not sure if that is actually meant as food. Alright, I don't think we're meant to be climbing this, but... Carry on. No idea how far I can get by this path. Exactly here. Come on. It doesn't turn back very well. Well, we might as well empty out this ammo. As soon as we get to back to the Mojave, we're gonna fix it up. It's gonna be okay. It's going to be alright. 
The Mojave will take care of us by providing us with more ammunition for this particular weapon. It will be okay. And it hurt me unable to aim. Right? Well, if I'm not gonna kill them with the first shot, I might as well not shoot again. Because I do have an army that will take care of them. Also, I'm gonna take your proc file because you don't need it. I don't need it. But I'd rather me have it than you have it. Yeah. Alright. Clearly we're fighting an extensive amount of fight legs. I think they have limited numbers. Or something. Still kill quite a bit. Oh, hello. Maybe I should heal. Good device. Would also get me more loot space. And as we all know, loot space is extremely valuable. There is still the factor that we actually need to go ahead and... Oh. Well. I think there's scripted kills here that are just weird. Like weird, weird. They're just looking at each other and then they kill each other. Once you know that I've seen them, look at each other. All sorts of silly. I suppose I have this weapon. For clearing up the mess. And an even larger army than usual. Maybe I should heal. Because uh, my... Estimation of my character's abilities seems to be off a little. That's an enemy. See, I've participated. You can finish him off now. It's kind of like they're scripted battles where one of them is just standing. Oh, oh, no. Apparently not. There was actual danger there. We're clipping into his leg. With our camera. That was very nice. Hmm. Delicious. This sack. Water. And... Fish shit. Nice. Nice indeed. Okie dokie. Let's see. There's probably going to be more enemies down this path and our companions are all missing. It's okay, apparently. We warned you at Syracuse, and you persisted. You took advantage of us at New Canaan to drive us out. And like the dogs of Caesar you are, you followed us to Zion. And now you stand on holy ground, a temple to God's glory on Earth. The only use for an animal in our temple is sacrifice. Kale Wachene Conserva You understand me, don't you? Don't you? Out man. Kuna man mad. He kill all white legs. You talk. You stop. This isn't what they send up for. Let me talk to Joshua. Him hear you. You talk. Don't listen to this thing. His cries are those of a mad beast caught in a thicket. He gave no mercy to my family. And I will give none to his. Joshua, you've already won. Look around you. There's no need to kill him. He has a debt to pay for what he's done. And I've come to collect. And so he's chosen to cower in the water like a dumb animal. If that... If what you believe is true, he'll pay for it later. The Soros don't need to see you do this. 
I want to take from them what they took from me, from my family. In this life. I want them to suffer. I want all of them to die in fear and pain. I want to have my revenge. Against him. Against Caesar. I want to call it my own. To make my anger God's anger. To justify the things I've done. Sometimes I tell myself that these wildfires never stop burning. But I'm the one who starts them. Not God. Not them. I can always see it in my mind. The warmth and the heat. It will always be a part of me. But not today. Go. Get out of here. Go back. Back to the Great Salt Lake. You had the nifty hat. Bye. That's it. It's finished. Thank you for staying with me. I couldn't have done this on my own. Let's go find Daniel. Tomorrow we'll be here soon. And there is much to do. Okay, well, first off, let me level up. A cool with that, right? Um, what do I do? What do I do? Um, it looks like I did guns. Okay. I could kill Commando. You know, not wearing underwear. Or I could go with a strong pack, which is what I think I will do. Yeah. There's something in my head. And so it was that the conflict between the New Canaanites and the White Legs was finally resolved. The Courier's involvement had tipped the scale, shifting the fragile balance of power. Demoralized by the dead horse and sorrow's attack the Courier and Joshua Graham led against them, the White Legs retreated to Great Salt Lake. Their days were numbered. Word soon reached the 80s tribe that the White Legs' spirit was broken. Their war chief a dim shadow of his former self. By year's end, the 80s would overrun the White Legs' camps, scattering the tribe to the winds and claiming the Great Salt Lake for its own. The Sorrows fought beside Joshua Graham and the dead horses. Eradicating the threat the White Legs posed to Zion. Seeing the courier convince Joshua Graham to spare salt upon wounds, the Sorrows learned that retribution could be tempered by mercy. Though he despaired at the Sorrows' loss of innocence, Daniel took some small consolation in the courier's lesson and prayed it would take root. Having helped eradicate the White Legs from Zion, the Dead Horses returned to Dead Horse Point in triumph. They remained neutral toward the Sorrows, but as years went on, there were periods of competitive friction, even violence between the tribes. The new Canaanites, Daniel especially, intervened regularly as mediators, but found it difficult to reconcile the tribes' conflicts. The defeat of the White Legs and Zion marked a turning point in the fortunes of the Happy Trails Caravan Company. Every two months, the caravan met with the new Canaanites in Zion Valley to trade. Happy Trails soon returned to prosperity. The vigilance of the sorrows and dead horses in defending southwestern Utah, initially startling to Happy Trails caravans, soon proved a blessing. The tribes united against the 80s, driving them back from Highway 50, and thus opening yet another trading route for Happy Trails caravans. The threat of the White Legs ended. Joshua Graham helped the Sorrows and dead horses tend to their fallen comrades and secure Zion. The Courier's words had stayed Joshua's wrath in his darkest hour, and in sparing salt upon wounds, he was changed. While he continued to advocate militant opposition to the enemies of New Canaan, he sometimes showed quarter to those who crossed his family. Eventually, this new spirit would diminish the myth of the burned man in distant lands. A small price for the peace it brought to Joshua Graham. For years after the defeat of the White Legs, Daniel did his best to minister to the Sorrow's spiritual needs. Try as he might, he could not hold back the tribe's increasing militancy and reverence of Joshua Graham. Demoralized, he returned to his family and Dead Horse Point. His failures haunted him for the rest of his days. And with that, 
The courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland. You say that, but I still have some other things to do in this area. We'll open all of this. Uh, I like the Shining Darkness. Mm, or like Shining in Darkness, anyway. Chalk's headdress. Daniel's hat. Daniel's outfit. Josh of Graham's armor. Shot upon wounds his helmet, which looks pretty silly. Yeah, I'm gonna take all that. Of course. Uh, I'm also going to be wearing uh, Joshua Graham's armor, I guess, because... Look at that. It's far more effective. Hat though. Is that any good? Speech plus 5, perception plus 1. That's probably more useful to me than survival. Cool. Right, uh, any way for me to get uh, nicely and swiftly back to Stonebones Cave because I have business there? Now, it's dark. The sky is shiny above us. We should go here. I need you all to stay here because this is not a safe place. Alright, Rex. Wait here. Boon. Wait. I'll sit tight. Edi. Wait. Beep, beep away sounds. Beep away. I don't know where the gr initial grenades drop in here. So, um. He's hoping you don't die. But there it is. I got hurt. Did you get hurt? You probably got hurt. A little at least. Oh, that's, that's bear traps. That's what, that's what hurt me. Okay. It's not going to be easy to get in there. Um. Tripfire over there was apparently already broken. Are there more traps? Probably. Ooh. Oh my. Yes. Of course. I need those things. And here we have the footlocker. Uh, it's not the footlocker I'm looking for, apparently. Okay. Oh no, 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 here it is. This is Ranger Combat Armor. And Combat Helmet. I am using some sort of a. Yeah, I, I do have light armor perks, so I'm not going to use them myself. Okay, um, anyway, I'll thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time when I will continue looting through this. So, see you then. Forecast. Cloudy with a chance of friendship.